What's up guys, Shea Pat Diecast here with another NASCAR Diecast review. And today we're going to be looking at Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2002 Nilla Wafer Nutter Butter 2002 Chevrolet Monte Carlo that he drove for DEI and RCR. A little bit of a combo deal. I think it's more considered RCR. I'm not really sure how that works out, but uh, DEI and RCR are both on the car. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. This was one of the three races that Dale Jr. ran in the Bush Series in 2002. The only one he did not win, um, which is a shame, which because this one is this is a beautiful car. This one got wrecked pretty early on in that race. This is one I remember wrecking vividly and being bummed out about it. But um, God, I love this paint scheme. It's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, this was one that actually was gifted to me by a co-worker back when I used to work at Lifeway. Like, he used to get me, he used to get me quite a few die casts if he'd find them. Um, but uh, anyways, let's get into the details of this car. So on the front we have the number three, Monte Carlo. We got Nella Wafer, we got a Nella Wafer right there on the star. Nutter Butter on the bottom there, we got the Chevrolet Bowtie. And underneath the hood, we have Nilla Wafer and Nutter Butter again. This is mainly just a Nilla Wafer car. as is the main sponsor. Uh, it doesn't have anywhere on the box, which is actually something I'm just now noticing. Um, anyways, we have number three on the roof. The roof will have stone open. On the deck lid, we have Fig Newtons. There's a fuel cell if you care to see it. Got Nilla Wafer, Nutter Butter. Got the Chevrolet bow tie, number three. We've got some milk running rampant around the car. Side of the car, we have our 2002 Bush Series contingencies. We have the number three. We have the junior little scribble right there, just so you wouldn't think it's Dale Senior. Uh, I think they did that out of respect or something. I'm not sure, but um, that was just a little cool detail that they did to the number three cars that he ran. The other one being the Oreo <clears throat> car that he won with at Daytona in the season opener. And we got Ritz right here, snap on. Nutter Butter, a Nutter Butter <laughs> Oreo on the B or on the C post. We got NabiscoWorld.com. On the B post, we have American Flag. Dale and Hart Incorporated RCR and Team Nabisco. We got Dale and Hart Jr. Signature, his early signature on the name rail, North Carolina flag, Dale and Hart Incorporated logo. The right side of the card is the same as the left. There's underneath the card if you care to see it. Take a quick look at the box, which just has Nella Wafers. Number three, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr. See, RCR right there. So that makes me think that's more of an RCR deal. I know it was... Uh, I know it was a um, partnership between the two companies. But, um, with and deal with Nabisco. The 2002 actual box. Just all purple. With the uh, cars on the side. They made a total production of 91,512 of these things. This thing is not rare. <laughs> but, um... It's a cool car to have. I have never got around to uh, getting the Oreo version, which is equally uh, beautiful. Um, I don't have the race version either. It's on my list. It's just down there. And I'm not worried about not finding it. It's not. Those aren't rare either. Those are a dime a dozen. Um, but it is a nice set to have. This is definitely my favorite of the two. I love bright and loud cars, and this one is different, bright and loud. And in case I didn't already mention it, he was running this at the, I want to say the Fall Bush Race Series, Bush Series Race at Charlotte. And the wreck early. But um, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm doing a lot of, 
I'm doing a lot of uh, diecasts that I've had for years that I've never never taken the time to do a review on. And um, I do appreciate you watching. Have a great day or night, wherever you may be. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.